guys i'm 1k in did it in seven minutes and i feel good but wait a second don't want to drop don't want to drop but i just feel heavy like really heavy that's it like obviously yeah i'm breathing heavy and all of that stuff but it's simply because how much i weigh like look at my chest flying up and down because i'm heavy man everything is just shaking man oh, but it's fine you have to stay dedicated stay motivated keep working hard stay disciplined enjoy the pain and one day or day one it will change man Woo. guys this is why i say running slow is much harder than running fast because like everything's hurting like it's not like when you're when you're running fast you're just running so your body's hot warm and everything's flowing like you're just moving do you get what i'm saying but when you're running slow huh, it's like everything is just hard my lower back is hurting my feet is hurting obviously yeah people say don't run too slow whatever but sometimes you have to run slower man it's humbling like yeah you think you're sick at running duh, 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 but the moment you start running slow it humbles you because you're just in pain a lot of pain like a lot of pain like it just hurts not hurt as in oh my lungs are tired or whatever it's just hurting like ah uh, like just a pain in my back my feet like it's just like ugh. maybe i didn't warm up enough in it that's maybe that's one thing but apart from that i'm gonna have to just keep working man there's no two ways about it. I need to get up and do this. I have to be strong. I have to just get up and do it, man. Guys, man. It's hurting. Right. I've stopped again. Like, I'm just hurting. Like, and it's not, it's not hurting, like, oh, uh, it's just dead. Like, today's not a good run, man. Tired. I'm not tired. I'm hurting. I'm just hurting, bro. Like, li literally, there's no other way to put it. I'm just hurting. It's because of how heavy I am. There's no other reason to it. I'm not tired. I'm not out of breath. I can breathe fine, everything. But fam, my bones and whatever, yeah, hurting. Hurting. I've literally stopped the watch and I'm literally, I'm literally just sitting down in the park because obviously, yeah, you might say, what? You're basically, you basically haven't even done it all. But fam, uh, <sighs> This is pain. How long do I have left? I have like 1.3k left. I'm gonna just have to push through all the way. Ugh. All the way, man. I should just have to push through. It's gonna hurt. It's because, wait, guys, listen. When you're running slow, you're using more muscle than like cardiovascular system or whatever you want to call it. Like running slow is like a workout. Running fast, obviously it's still a workout and stuff, but it's like you're running fast. So like you're everything's flowing i don't know how to describe it but i know what i'm talking about do you get what i'm saying like if i was to run this 4k just as fast as i can i would have done it by now do you get what i'm saying like because nothing it's just everything's just flowing like imagine doing a slow controlled press up and or a slow control pull up and a fast pull up you get what i'm saying like you know the difference so it's like a slow run is much harder than a fast run man my leg my foot oh, tired Everything's just tired, but I'm gonna have to push through, man. I have to. It's gonna get easier. It will get easier. Even if the distances are getting longer, it will get easier. I know myself, I know it will get easier. Let's go. Guys, I'm gonna be so honest. Is is this, is it really worth it, like? Seriously, because I'm sweating so much. To, this today was probably one of the hardest runs I've ever done. I'm being so serious, I'm not even lying. Like, I'm being so serious. It was just hard. I finished, man. But it was just hard, like. Everything about it was hard. I felt... I wasn't really out of breath. So that's one thing I can say. I wasn't really out of breath. But in terms of my body, fam, I felt like, like I was dragging like a bus behind me or something. Like, I'm not even joking, man. But at least I did it. Yeah, it wasn't the best. Or whatever i stopped there's nothing wrong with stopping yeah but I, i'm just gonna say i stopped a few times and stuff but like i still did it man because 
remember, I'm doing this for myself. It's not like I'm getting paid or anything. So I could easily turn around and say, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to stop because it's hard or whatever. But I'm not going to. Do you get what I'm saying? It just makes you deep. Like, fam, these runners, yeah, the, the reason why they're so light is because they can't be carrying anything. Imagine if Kipchoge weighed 80 kg. There's literally no chance, like, fam. So, like, if I want to be... Because, guys, my aim is to do a faster, like, 5K and stuff. Obviously, yeah, this challenge is running crazy distance, whatever. But I just want to do this challenge as well for discipline and stuff. But um, I feel like when I get back... So, after this month, I'm going to be trading just 5K, 10K pace, kind of running, like, PB and that. Because I do want to get sub 20. Obviously, right now, it seems like, oh, how the hell are you ever going to run a sub 20? But my thing is, I've been down there before. I know what it takes, I know what it feels like. The reason why I'm not there right now is because I'm so heavy. It's not like, oh, my insides are rubbish because I'm healthy, I'm fit, my heart is strong, I can feel all of it. But it's like, mate, mate, I'm heavy. I never walked down here before. It's Burgess, but I never walked down this. This path, this path is new. I saw them building it. I want to know how long it is. Imagine doing intervals down this path on this rocky, like clay surface all the way down i'm gonna say it's like 250 meters or a bit more yeah maybe like oh maybe 300 because the end is quite far i'm not gonna lie maybe 300 guys i need to make sure i stretch man or well, more obviously i'm stretching already in it but i need to stretch more because i just felt tight today i feel like that was the main reason not because it was a longer distance or anything I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But I thought like my body was just tight. Tomorrow I'm going to do 1k intervals because it's 5k. So I might as well do some intervals to go a bit faster than 6k the next day. Might do it slower or whatever. But what do you call it? This today, I mean, yeah, today I felt tight. Everything about my body felt tight. Like I couldn't move. Yeah, it threw extra weight, whatever. But I just couldn't move. I felt tight. It's not, uh, it's not even an excuse because I completed it. It's not like I didn't complete it. So... Do you get what I'm saying? Like, if I sat here and said all of that and I didn't do it, then I'm just making excuses. Do you get what I'm saying? But I still did complete. So I can't really complain. But yeah, um, I just felt tight, man. I just didn't feel good. Like, overall, if I was to rate it out of 10, I would say maybe mm, like a three, three and a half. Yeah. There was times in the run where I was able to push, but I could, after a while, I couldn't push at all. I just was hurt. Like, let me show you the run anyway. This was it. 4K done. Um, 7.50. 31 minutes. Yeah, it's not the fastest. But oh well. We move. Next page. That's just the pace. Heart rate. So my max heart rate was 175. Average was 148. So I was in the zone 2. And then this one. Power. I don't know why my power was so high. Elevation. I was going up and down a bit. Not like a lot, but a bit. They say the training effect was tempo. The reason why they say tempo is because I stepped, I kept stopping and starting and changing the pace. Yeah. But that was it, man. Yeah. I'm not going to lie though. I feel confident, man. Like, I feel confident. Yeah, I feel confident. I'm being so, I believe in myself, innit? Even if I slug it through, I'm going to do it. I know I can. I got that heart. The worst run or the most distance I'm going to have to do is two 15Ks in one day if I break it up like that. That's the most, that's 30K in it. That's the biggest thing I'm going to do. So, apart from that, mate, once I lose some weight, you're going to see in my face, obviously. Once I lose some weight and I feel lighter, I feel like it's going to get easier. So, I'm ready, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next run. Yeah, the videos are not the longest, but when I go to the gym on the days I've run, I'm going to include the gym workout as well. So that way, you're gonna, it's going to be like a more, like a vlog style. But right now, it's Saturday, isn't it? And I'm just running because F1 is on scene and stuff. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. The next one, I might actually be in the gym tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Make sure that comes subscribe in a bit.